offer Toronto Star Wheels and Wheels.ca. We're at Canadian Tire Motorsport Park, competing in the GT Championships, so we can do part two of our series, what it's like to drive a race car. You recall from our first video, we talked about all the safety requirements, the roll cage, the suit, the helmet, etc. that's required to enter a series like this. In this video, we're going to talk about performance parts that help to make your car go faster. So let's take a look at all those neat little contraptions and devices and engineering that can help make your street vehicle be a competitive race vehicle. Upgrading the brakes at the racetrack is a must. Stock street brakes just won't handle the heat and the demand of the racetrack. So I went to the experts at Neo Motorsports and they supplied me with these wonderful six piston calipers, larger diameter brake rotors, and now there's absolutely no problem with the brakes at any racetrack that I go to. Street-based suspension is fine for the road where you want a plush, comfortable ride, but at the racetrack you want the ultimate handling, so you need to upgrade your suspension. Now again, I went to the experts at Neo Motorsports, and they installed on my Integra coilover adjustable springs and shocks, so I can adjust the spring rates, adjust the shocks to get the maximum cornering from this vehicle. Now, a good suspension will allow you to get the maximum out of your race tires. The biggest bang for your buck you can get for your vehicle is a good set of top quality tires and wheels. So let's take a look at tires. When it came to racing, I chose the lightweight OZ racing wheel. But what's more important than the wheel is the rubber that's wrapped around it. Now many racing series, including Formula One, IndyCar, and NASCAR, have a dedicated tire manufacturer, and every competitor must run that tire. But here in the GT Championships, we get to choose which tire we run. So I wanted to choose the best. For that, I went to Goodyear. Goodyear's been making race tires. It makes more race tires than any other manufacturer. What's really important about the tire is the driver's commands, whether it be steering, cornering, acceleration, braking, all must be transmitted through a tiny little rubber contact patch where the tire meets the road. That's how important that rubber contact patch is. It does everything for us drivers. So I wanted the best rubber contact patch I could get, so I opted for these Goodyear race tires. Now I'm set because I have the dry tire and a Goodyear race rain tire. So whether it's raining or dry, I'm set to do the best I can. Another upgrade every race car driver wants is more power. So in the off season, I had the experts at Green and Ross on Dufferin Street in Toronto Install another Type R motor in here that has another 30-40 horsepower. Still not enough power, but it's a lot better than what I had. So there's a very good list of performance upgrades you can do to your vehicle if you want to go racing. We looked at upgrading the brakes, the suspension, the all-important tires, and even the motor. But there's other things you can do too. You can upgrade your suspension, even aerodynamic upgrades. But that's what makes your car fast. What we're going to look at in the next video is technique, because you may have a fast car, but you may not be a fast driver. And it's technique that makes you fast, and it's technique that allows you to get the most out of your technology. So watch for our next video, we'll be talking about technique for racing. Find me along, wheels.ca and Toronto Star Wheels. See you at the racetrack.